Hey Beertubers, it's Beertububa here and I'm doing a little collab video review with the endosymbiosis or the only endosymbiosis, Daniel Harper right there. And we're yeah. doing a little collab video uh, of reviewing Lagunitas' brown sugar. Uh, this is their barley wine, uh, their base of the barley wine being the gnarly wine and they added some, as you could guess, some brown sugar in it and therefore they named it the brown sugar. So let's get this opening then. Okay, so let's just talk briefly about, oh, it's a twist top, okay. Oh, mine isn't, mine's a uh, uh, fry off. Oh, are you serious? Man, I got gypped. <laughs> <laughs> well, yours so, is, uh, this, was, this was one of the reasons I wanted to do this. Your bottle is a year older than mine, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's why I want to talk about that. Uh, oh. My bottle here, I actually have a tape uh, that's 2009, and uh, Daniel over there, he's got 2011, right? I had a late 2010. A oh, late 2010. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the ABV on my beer is uh, what was it? Nine point. Where the heck? Oh, 9.84 percent. Mine is 9.99 percent. 9.99. Yeah. Dang, you win. I guess yours is bigger than mine then, huh? That 0.15% is what matters. Yeah, so it looks like we got the same amount of head. Yep. Uh, uh, color is the same, which is yeah. a good thing. Mine's very, very clear. Um, I've got a little bit of carbonation just kind of floating in the middle of the glass kind of thing. Um, uh -huh. And uh, it's like a copper amber color. Uh, head is yeah. um, like yellow to mocha. Not quite mocha, but that reddish yellow kind of color. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Actually, it's the same exact thing. Ooh, the smell. Oh boy. It smells Man. really good. Yeah. It smells super sweet. Like I'm, I'm getting like heavy, heavy caramel. Like the, the one of the most, uh, most amount of caramel that I would ever smell from a barley wine. It's, it's pretty yeah. thick smelling. No, it's it's interesting. I mean, yours is older than mine. So mine, I'm not getting it. I'm getting a lot more of the hoppiness, maybe. I mean, I'm getting yeah. the sweetness. I'm getting, but it's it's more like a like um, crisp apples almost, more so than caramel. It's more like mine. I'm smelling this uh, like a, a lot a lot of caramel, right? But the, I could just tell that it's going to have this chocolatey viscosity. This is at least just my my guess. Want to go ahead and dive Let's in? Let's dive there? in. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Come by. Come by. <laughs> Well, that's a Lagunitas beer, beer, all right. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got the hops hop bite there. There is this thing where um, a lot of these Lagunitas beers kind of have the you know they make a lot of big hoppy ambers, you know. Yeah. And so yeah. it is kind of easy to go, yep, that's Lagunitas, but they're <laughs> almost always good, so you know you can't really complain too much, you know. But, yeah. Uh, in in general, I haven't been too too into Lagunitas lately because. Just because the hop profile it tends to be very similar, it's their signature style. Uh, but uh, at least with this one here, the 2009, I'm not getting any hops at all. Well, this one, I mean, I bought it into 2010, so it's you know four and a half months old at this point, but it's still very hoppy. Um, yeah. It's not like bitter hoppy. I just did the um, Old Guardian from um, Stone, uh -huh. and uh, that one was significantly hoppier than this. But it's a different oh, yeah. kind of hop. It's uh, this is more. I think of this as the Pacific Northwest hopping style almost, where it's got that, um, you know, this kind of amber malt with that kind of pininess um, with some mm -hmm. of that citrus quality. This one here, like I said, the the hops is is barely present, really. If anything, at towards the end you have this dry dryness that's right, most right. likely from the hops. But it's like at first when you drink it, it's it's like a very drinkable Welch kind of juice, right. uh, and then and then to put it in simple terms, you know, and then and then. And then gradually, it's like you get the uh, you get the caramelness from the barley wine, the caramel flavor. And he's like, okay. And then more and more, of this chocolatey viscosity starts kicking in. You're like, whoa, this is definitely a barley wine, but it's definitely on the sweet side as well, too. Right. It's interesting because I almost feel like you and I could be describing different beers. Like I oh, almost no. feel like, I mean, you know, just because mine the hops are still very prominent. Mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of booziness on this. I don't know how your how the booziness is on yours if it's if it's faded somewhat, but I am getting a lot of that heat from the alcohol. 
and I am getting it on the tongue as well. Um, it's not unpleasant. Um, it's it's it actually works really well with the malt profile and with the hops. I like it a lot, but um, it's definitely um, a lot more. Uh, I mean, again, mine is a lot hoppier, and I mean, there is some prominent, pretty prominent. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I I, th I think just kind of my my final thoughts with this beer is that. Like it has, it has, it's, it's drinkable, and it has, it just suddenly hits you with all this flavor in a very pleasant kind of way. But uh, at least for my personal taste, I, I could use a little more oomph to it. It seems like some of the oomph dies out because uh, I'm guessing a lot of Lagunitas beer, their their identity is based on this, uh, the hops. You know, it's, it relies on the hops, and so that dies out. But it's still not bad, though. I, if anything, it's it's like a very heavy flavored. Uh, dare I say, like a British barley wine, that kind of thing, because it, yeah, it yeah, tones down in the lightness, and yeah, it's a very, in some ways, like a clean, kind of easy drinking barley wine, but it's definitely, you know, big, it's sweet, and it has, you know, some booziness, but not much in mine. I think I'd, I'd give this like uh, an A-, a minus for sure, uh, because it's not bad, and the it aging, so this being a 2009 brown sugar, um, I think it, it does improve with age, and it's something worth, you know, just buy a six pack, make sure it's not refrigerated, just, you know, it's ideal, and just let it sit and see how it tastes in the course of a year. Yeah, I, uh, with my uh, fresher, I'm not going to say fresh, fresher bottle, you mm -hmm. know, I, I feel like I really want to let it age and see if it kind of turns into what you're getting. I would be really interested in tasting that. Uh, with this with this bottle, I I don't like it quite as much as you do. I'm thinking somewhere in the B B plus range. Um, mm -hmm. I I think I I really like it. I think my one thing is that these Lagunitas beers they really do kind of all have the same you know have the same hop profile. They kind of have the you know the same malt. It's just kind mm -hmm. of a heavier version of, of a lot of the other beers. And I would. With this hoppiness, I'd rather it be an IPA. I'd rather it be the Hop Stupid or one of the other ones, you know. Yeah. But um, I like this beer a lot. I would definitely drink it. I mean, it's very, very drinkable. But I think I'm going to go B plus on it. I, I feel like it's it's solid. I enjoy it. But it's not really like an A beer for me. I wouldn't, like, seek this out regularly. But I would love to age a bottle. I don't have a sweet tooth. In general, I don't really like sweeter beers. And so that's why, in that way, even though... You, you gave it a B plus and you would still go out of the way to get it. I don't think I, I would personally buy it uh, just because I don't like sweeter beers. Right. But at the same time, I can just taste that it's well made and when it's aged, right. it's very. I appreciate it a lot. But it's a little too sweet for something for me to go out and say, oh, I want another brown sugar. So right, yeah. That's, my, that's just my thing. You know? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Check out the Endosymbiosis's beer blogs or beer channel, and uh, definitely check his stuff out because he gets beers from all around Michigan and places that I can't get beer. So definitely check his channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come thanks by. Thanks a lot. Cheers.